Art is the only way to run away without leaving home, Twilight Hub. This quote resonated deeply with me as I wandered through the Getty Museum surrounded by gorgeous paintings and sculptures. While I walked through different halls, it seemed like stepping into different times. Each room was like a journey into history, where art told stories of ancient times. It was like traveling back in the past without even leaving the museum. Among the many works that caught my eye, two stood out, La Promenade by Pierre-Auguste Renoir and Portrait of the Marquise de Meramon de Thérèse de by James Tissot. In my presentation, I will delve into the versatility of these two paintings, examining their composition, metaphorical meaning and cultural relevance. Through the analysis of line, color and light, I will uncover the layers of meaning hidden in this iconic works of art. First, I will discuss La Propinade, and then I will explore portrait of the Marquise de Beramon de Therese Foyland. Pierre Auguste Renoir was born in Limoges, France on February 25, 1841. He was the sixth child in his family, and when he was three years old, they moved to Paris. It was interesting to read that in his youth he dreamed of becoming a singer, but then he chose painting. Renoir had a strong bond with Paris, and we see this in his artwork. Once he told the artist Albert André, When I was a boy, I often went into the galleries of ancient sculpture without even knowing precisely why. Perhaps because I passed through the courtyards of the Louvre every day, because it was easy to get into those halls, and because there was never anyone there. I sat there for hours, lost in daydreams. Renoir was said to see the old Paris he loved being destroyed. Despite of this, the city continued to be one of his main sources of inspiration. Renoir was known for his vivid recreations of laser activities and his powerful use of color. In the late 1860s, his painting style was influenced by Impressionism, leading him to employ broken brush strokes, lighter colors, and composition organized into patches of colored light. Among his artworks, La Promenade holds a special position as a masterpiece of Impressionist painting. Created in 1870s, La Promenade is an oil on canvas, which gives viewers an insight into the dreamlike France of the 19th century. It is worth to note that the Getty Museum purchased this painting in 1989 for a total of 17.7 million. According to the Education Department of the Getty Museum, what Pierre Auguste Renoir titled this painting is unknown, but the title La Promenade is in part an homage to earlier artists that he greatly admired. La Promenade represents a well dressed couple in a green outdoor setting. On the left, we see a slightly shy woman in a long white dress. The man on the right is dressed in a somewhat casual but neat outfit, complete with a brown head trimmed with a red ribbon. He guides the woman through a dense natural landscape. Double sunlight plays across the woods and glade. A young man pulls the foliage side from a narrow path to allow his female companion to pass. She turns her head aside, perhaps momentarily hesitant to go further into the woods. The technique, a brilliant, variegated, informal, complements this scene of relaxed companionship and courtship. Although both characters have significant roles in La Promenade, their treatment varies. The male in primarily is in shade, while the woman is well lighted and positioned at the center of focus. Our attention is drawn to the woman and the direction she is taking by this contrast. The men's reduced features and darkened face also contribute to the painting's charming contrast between light and darkness. However, the vivid colors and delicate tonal shifts give La Promenade a warm, bright feel. Renard uses line very effectively in the La Promenade, directing the viewer's attention and creating an experience of movement. He conveys the spirit of relaxing folks in nature with his fluid brush strokes on delicate lines, giving the sitting an impression of spontaneity and vibrancy. Although Promenade is an accurate depiction of a quiet folk, it has a deeper metaphorical meaning. The relaxed poses and calm expressions of the figures convey a feeling of happiness and peace with the surrounding nature. Renaud urges us to think about how beautiful life can be and why it is important to enjoy the simple moments. The next painting I would like to discuss is the portrait of the Marquise de Meramon de Therese Foyland, painted by James Tissot in 1866. James Tissot, born Jacques Joseph Tissot in 1836 in Nantes, France, 
is one of the most attractive and mysterious artists of the second half of the 19th century. At the height of his career, he produced a number of gender paintings of current European high society, primarily focusing on the people and women's attire of Victorian England and the Belle Epoque. As Marlow said in her article, James did so capture the elegance and confidence of the French ruling class from the toes of their well polished shoes, shoes to their silk top hats. His mastery of perspective is impressive, the emphasis of decor and clothing dazzling. Later, following the rumored scenes where he saw his deceased wife, he changed the direction of his work, devoting the rest of his life to working on illustrations of the New and Old Testaments. Among his numerous beautiful works, the portrait of the Marquette de Ramon de Teresa Foyland has a unique place. It was painted in 1866 and represents Teresa Stephanie Sophie Foyland, who was the spouse of Marquis de Miramon. Here we can see how delicately Tissot used line, emphasizing the figure of the Marquis with grace and precision. Costumed in the latest style and surrounded by fashionable decorative objects, the Marquis de Miramon wears a rose colored ruffled peignoir or dressing gown. Around her neck are a black lace scarf and a silver cross. The impression of majestic grace and sophistication is created by the smooth folds of her clothes and the delicate shape of her face. The painting's rich, precious palette reinforces the feeling of elegance and luxury. The artist emphasized the Marquise's vibrant presence, creating a striking contrast between the soft pastel tones of her face and the deep whiz of her dress. His masterful use of light and shadow gives the portrait more nuance and depth. The Marquise's soft facial features are highlighted by the gentle movement of light across her face, which also gives the composition a sense of liveliness. In addition, a sense of timeless beauty and elegance is evoked by the sense ethereal character, which is created by the gentle diffused light that fills the background. The Marquise de Miramos portrait depicts more than just a noble woman. It has a deeper metaphorical significance. Her graceful posture and light dignified, uh, dignified expression represent aristocratic grace. However, if we examine more closely, we can see that she has a hint of sadness in her eyes, which reveals the depth of her inner thoughts. Tissot wants us to consider how individuals can appear balanced on the outside but be struggling on the inside. It serves as a reminder to think about the masks we put on in order to hide our actual emotions and actual emotions and expressions. To conclude, La Promenade and Portrait of the Marquise de Miramon and Teresa Foyland represent different scenes and moods. La Promenade depicts a, specific, uh, depicts a peaceful outdoor scene with walking people, while Portrait of the Marquise de Miramon centers on an elegant portrait of a nobility. The first painting captures movement and the beauty of nature with its vibrant and dynamic style. In contrast, the second one is more serious, depicting elegance and wealth. These variations in subject style and mood show the range of ways that life and emotions can be portrayed in art. Both paintings captivated me with their timeless beauty as well as their moving depiction of the passage of time. I think they are significant pieces of art that have had a lasting impact on culture, enriching our understanding of human experiences and emotions. Thank you.